it's no secret that the world has fallen in love with sharks over the past few years. With Hollywood gifting us with such gems as The Meg, Discovery Channel trying their best with Shark Week, and of course that adorable song that everyone loves no matter how many times they hear it. <laughs> That's enough! And then there are the nerds like me who loved sharks way before they got all mainstream. And one of my favorite sharks is, and always has been, the mysterious Greenland shark. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching the first ever episode of Weird Animal Facts. So exciting. Last week I was excited to see a news article from 2017 recirculating its way through Facebook. The Sarn article headline reads, This ancient shark is said to be the world's oldest living vertebrate at 512 years old meaning it was born before Shakespeare. Now obviously this is incredibly cool, but it's only kinda sorta accurate. Hate when that happens. It's almost as if the news can't be trusted. The article was referencing a 2016 thesis paper by marine biologist Julius Nielsen. The paper estimated the age of 28 Greenland sharks that were unintentionally caught in nets by fishermen. The problem with many shark species is that they're very soft-bodied animals, so traditional aging methods like counting growth rings in bone won't work the same way that they do for other species of fish. So instead, Nielsen and his team looked to the shark's eyes for answers. Proteins in the lens of a Greenland shark's eye are metabolically inert, meaning that they stay in the shark's body without being replaced for its entire life. So peel back the lens like layers on an onion and you're looking at the exact same proteins that were there when the shark was born. These proteins are then radiocarbon dated. The only problem with radiocarbon dating is that it can't give an exact date of birth, only a very broad estimate. Researchers found that the oldest shark in the study, a 5 meter or 16 foot long female, to be anywhere between 272 and 512 years old. More than likely she was somewhere around the middle at about 400 years old. But even if she was at the low end of the spectrum at 272 years old, this still makes her the oldest living vertebrate known to science. And since the Greenland shark's full size can be up to 6.4 meters or 21 feet, it's more than likely that there's an individual out there that's even older than the one in this study. So all of this begs the question, why did they live so long? And the answer to that is... Nobody really knows for sure. Like most other aspects of the Greenland shark's biology and natural history, the reasoning behind its exceptionally long lifespan still remains mysterious. But a big part of it probably has something to do with the temperature of the water that they live in. Their range is mostly restricted to the North Atlantic Ocean and Arctic Ocean. Within this range, they spend most of their life in just above freezing temperatures, either at the water's surface or down to depths of around 1,500 meters. There's even a record of one being found as deep as 2,200 meters. At this level, the water temperature is anywhere between negative 0.6 to 12 degrees Celsius. If a human decided to swim in water this cold, they would lose consciousness in a matter of minutes. And that's without factoring in the 2,000 pounds of pressure crushing in on every square inch of your pathetic little human body. But for the Greenland shark, it's perfectly comfortable. They'll spend an entire day swimming vertically downward for an entire mile without getting as much as a headache. This is in part because their bodies have evolved to do everything slowly. They're considered the slowest swimming fish on the planet, with an average cruising speed of 0.7 miles per hour and a top speed of 1.6 miles per hour. Their heart beats only once every 12 seconds, they grow slowly, only about one centimeter per year, and they don't reach sexual maturity until they're 150 years of age. That means the average lifespan of a Galapagos giant tortoise is right around when a Greenland shark hits puberty. The way all of this is connected is that cold-blooded animals like fish usually grow more slowly and have a longer life expectancy in cold conditions. But even factoring in the cold environment and the slow lifestyle, the reason for the extreme longevity of this big frozen potato remains unknown. And that is why they need our protection. These fish are so astoundingly unique for so many different reasons that I couldn't possibly fit them all into one video. What we already know about them is incredible, and there's still so much more that we need to learn. We still know very little about their feeding behavior, even less about their population size, and close to nothing about their reproductive habits. And without this information, we can't accurately assess how badly the species is being affected by human activity. That's why we need more biologists like Julius Nielsen out there in the world answering these questions. The Greenland shark is classified as near threatened by the IUCN Red List with a population trend unknown. And as with any animal, 
The more we know about them, the easier it will be to protect them. So do me a favor, share this video to help raise awareness about these amazing and mysterious sharks. Check out the links in the description down below to learn more about Greenland sharks and the amazing research that people like Mr. Julius Nielsen are doing. And a big thank you to Julius for letting me use his photos in this video. Make sure to subscribe to Miller's Wildlife for more weird animal facts and leave a comment down below telling me which animals you think should be highlighted in future episodes. For more weird animal goodness, check out my old show, Five Weird Animal Facts on Animal Bites TV. My name is Jason Miller. And I'll see you next Friday for another episode of Weird Animal Facts.